different, that's for sure. Very interesting. You're looking at the frozen carcass preserved by Jerry Ayer here at the Blanco Taxidermy School in Blanco. It's a creature found by one of his students in Rosenberg with gray and leathery skin, unlike anything native to Texas. They got into his cousin's barn and they thought maybe it was a rodent tearing stuff up. They had no idea, they had never seen it. And so uh, he put some poison out and then this is what he got the very next day. Ayer has been in the taxidermy business for 10 years and says he's never seen anything like it. He points out the unusual features commonly associated with the mythical beast known as the chupacabra. The front legs seem to be a little bit longer than a typical coyote. It's very irregular. I've never seen one that had legs that long. There are all sorts of wild animals that are roaming the woods here in South Texas that are actually native to this part of the state. And then there are those animals that you just don't know what they are. I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it a chupacabra too. Chupacabra or not, one thing's for sure. It's definitely stirring up interest with those who stop by. As a taxidermist, Ayer says he plans to preserve the animal so people can see it for themselves. And he's hoping that a local museum will take it for display. It's uh, definitely something that I don't want to throw away. I think it'll make it a very interesting mount, you know, a tremendous conversation piece.